uh, Belgium yesterday. I see. And here is the Olympic champion, the world champion, Stephen de Costa of France, going for a bronze medal in the male minus 67 kilogram category. Considering, I mean, he's he's the uh, the minus 67 kilogram. He's the Olympic champion, and they merged the weights, didn't they, for the uh, for the Olympics? Super fighter. But you say he's carrying an injury from yesterday. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's, uh, in by team, he's fighting in team, and uh, when uh, France met uh, Belgium, uh, you know, uh, uh -huh. he's uh, he kick uh, with his kick, he hit uh, the face of a Belgium guy, and uh, he but he's on the totem. No, not serious enough to stop an yeah. Olympic champion. That's for sure. <laughs> An Olympic and world champion, and that was a world championship performance again from Stephen De Costa. Opens the score with a Yuko. There's a video review from Oran Berak of Croatia. Both of these fighters, 25 years of age. So Apart from being on target, did it have vigorous application? Did it have proper Zanchi, good form? All of that is looking reasonably. That means the crosser is now trailing one point to two. No Senchu given to either of them. For Senchu to be given, it has to be an unopposed score. Combination technique there, a side kick and a punch to the head. There's a video review call from the coach of Steven De Costa, Oliver Baudry. Moran Berak stepped off the tatami, so he has a warning for Jogai. There's the punch from De Costa, top right, you can see it. Now, was he overstretched on the punch? And then closed in. So the distance, maybe. And Remember, um, correct oh. distance is one of those six criteria. Did the punch have any potential left, or had it been spent? Oh, oh a great call again from the coach. <laughs> yeah, good. And good another from Olivier Baudry. Point goes to Steven De Costa. Two points each. This time, De Costa gets the century. Watch the green dot appear in a moment. He's that leading. gives him the advantage. <laughs> yeah. So, Berak now has to work. There's the green dot showing that De Costa has that slight advantage. <laughs> that means that Berak has to score at least one point to win. Now, if an athlete, if a fighter is pushed off the area, it's not Joe Guy. But he hopped back, in which case it was his own fault that he stepped off the tatami. Closing in on the last minute of the bank. Still 2-2. Two -two. The Olympic and world champion Steven De Costa in blue still leads with the Senchu advantage. Boran Barak trying to time his attack. Yeah, that was, good. That was clever of De Costa <laughs> because he ducked in turned and weaved and he forced Berak to step off the tatami as a coach you get a hurt attack but him he knew perfectly what he he's he doing knew. yeah <laughs> oh. he gives a question yeah. again he knows that yeah perfect uh, why my my that's why the difference between a really a good fighter and a champion and really. a champion yes even if uh, all his injury is and uh, 
was a mantel. Oh, and he's just, and when he started the bout, oh, oh it just fell off balance. But the technique was wonderful. Five points to two. Now, whether he'll get this score, we'll have to wait and see. Is this another piece of magic from Oliver Baldry? But you're right, uh, you know, a world and Olympic champion. <laughs> so the warning is going against Warren Barak. Oh, maybe. Yeah, now, the just... kick is hooked right round the back. Was that an effective block? That may be a question being considered by the panel and it was an effective oh, block the arm was up so it stopped the uh, the, the mm -hmm. potential mm -hmm. for the kick oh yeah uh, two points. It's just this, the hooking kick right over the top of his head and then puts in a punch so nonchalantly so easily six points to two four seconds still to go it's okay Oh, he was. Yeah, he was. I think that the guy. Okay. Great, Stephen. Great. Excellent performance from the world and Olympic champion to take the bronze medal here in Gazin.